We get all kinds of reactions. I'm really concerned about causing an accident because people film us a lot while they're driving. <laughs> you know, it takes a moment for it to hit them that that's an actual submarine. We had cops do that actually one time. We thought they were gonna pull us over and they were actually just like driving really slowly filming us. <laughs>what's called a complex systems marine scientist. I've always been obsessed with the deep sea and I've always wanted to have this experience of going in a sub and I went to Roatan in Honduras and I went on a dive to 2,000 feet and it was one of the most profound experiences of my life. Right now it's completely inaccessible. I wanted to make that available to as many people as I possibly could. Community Submersibles Project is a member-driven organization. So we have memberships you can join and then you have access to the subs. Thank you, this is actually a homemade sub. And our second sub, Noctiluca, is a 32-foot diesel electric sub. I'm the director of the project, so I've got my hands in pretty much every aspect of sub operations. And I have a team of technical people to help me execute all of the operations. Being in a homemade sub is actually less scary in a lot of ways because you're only going to shallow depths and so the risk of any kind of pressure injury is much less. I love it so much, it's so fun. We're gonna hit the bottom, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, so I say that I was a marine scientist from the day that I knew that a fish existed, which was about four years old. It's the first time I can remember wanting to be underwater all the time. I've done about 3,500 dives, scuba dives. 50 sub dives and many, many, many free dives. I've now spent a year of my life underwater in aggregate, a number of hours that I've vlogged underwater. I love it in here. I wanna live under here. I've also always had this dream of building an underwater house and I feel like I now have the skills to do that. So the subs are partially a stepping stone to the underwater house technologically, and they're also the fulfillment of this like dream of just exploring the unknown and exploring the underwater realm in a way that isn't really accessible to people. It's really hard when you're down there to want to come back to the surface, for me. So Fangtooth, the white sub, was actually homemade by a guy who lives on Lake Michigan and he sold it to these early 20-somethings who had bought it on a dare with each other with their tax return money and they realized they were in way over their heads and so he ended up hiring them to truck the sub across the country. Then another friend jokingly was like, well if you got that one, why don't you get this one and have a whole fleet? She is painted like an orca because she was formerly owned by the Sea Shepherd Society who painted her like an orca to scare off gray whales uh, to keep them from getting hunted. A crew of us went out to Florida and towed her all the way home ourselves. This is the acrylic viewport. It's two inches thick. This is the pilot viewport and it's a really cool wraparound style that's not usual for sinking submersibles. Usually it's just individual portholes. And the ballast tanks, she has four of them and they're spread out throughout the pressure vessel. The ballast tanks control the buoyancy, so they either have water in them and sink the sub, or they have compressed air in them and they cause the sub to ascend to the surface. There's 96 hours of life support, which she dives to 300 feet currently, and we're hoping to retrofit her to be able to dive up to 900 feet. This is where the crew person sits. We steer the sub with this joystick. It's an F-16 joystick. Kind of fun, it says a uh, steering thingy there. We didn't put that there, <laughs> the last owner did. It's pretty funny. We purchased her for $60,000 that we bought from a private person who had bought it from the Sea Shepherd Society. It was just a money pit for him. I mean, he wasn't enjoying it. It was just a source of, of anguish. A friend jokes that to get really great deals on Craigslist, you put wife in the search parameters. <laughs> Once a wife decides that something's got to go, it's like really got to go, and that's how you get the best deals, and so that's what happened. I actually was in communication with his wife, and she was like, please, please, for the love of God, take this away from us. <laughs> We bought them in sort of disrepair and we've been repairing, retrofitting and upgrading all the systems, building out a lot of electronics and life support systems and putting them in there. I am totally self-taught, but with the advice from a lot of very generous submersible professionals. The coolest thing I've ever made is this submersible community. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get you enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>